A grieving family has spoken of its disgust after a fee hike for burying their father-in-law was blamed on the carbon tax. The cemetery has apologised for what it calls a misinformed statement. For a grieving family, it added insult to injury, slapped with a price increase by Melbourne's Springvale Cemetery and told even the dead don't escape the carbon tax. We're pretty, pretty, pretty disheartened that I think the thing is that, you know, a carbon tax on the dead, um, not on. And the government agrees. In relation to funeral costs, uh, any price impact is expected to be minimal. While the cemeteries issued an apology, Shadow Climate Change Minister Greg Hunt says it is a tax that now follows you to your grave. The government wants Mr Hunt to apologise, but he says it's not the opposition which charged carbon tax for the woman to bury her father. Tony Abbott still on the attack. The carbon tax is going to make life more difficult. Uh, the mining tax is going to make life more difficult. And now the Queensland government's joining the fight against the mining tax, supporting Fortescue Metals High Court challenge. States have the obligation, the right to intervene in High Court challenges when the Constitution's called into question. That's what we're going to be doing. Julia Gillard had breakfast with Premier Campbell Newman in Brisbane. Wayne Swan's accusing him of pandering to Clive Palmer. Effectively, what Mr Newman wants to do is to rob the punters and pay Mr Palmer. After all, he owns the LNP. The Queensland government says the mining tax discriminates between the states and should suffer the same fate as the Malaysia solution struck down here at the High Court. John O'Doherty, Nine News.